episode 124. Visit with Mac out here in Birmingham, Alabama with Sean Brantley and Agba Force Waldo. This is another dope, dope episode. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And as always, enjoy the video. Agba Force Waldo um, was a puppy that I acquired after losing uh, a co chief of Royal Breed Song. Um, I contacted Simona once again, and I told her I was in search of a male Rockwilder, and she told me they had just bred Black Excalibur Camilla with the Zombie, and uh, she said I could have first pick. And by this time, I had purchased two dogs from Simona, and uh, there was no money exchange, no deposit, or whatever. You know, I told her I wanted another male and she told me you know I was good first pick and those are the type of people um, Simone and Collins are once uh, you purchase from them you become like family and they treat you like family and whatever uh, you want or whatever you ask of them it don't necessarily have to be about money so I, I contacted them about a male needing a male and they told me right away that once the litter drop, I would have first pick. Optimus Prime was a co-chief of Royal Breed Southern, and at the time that I had Optimus Prime, there wasn't too many um, co-chief puppies over in the U.S. Uh, Optimus Prime was a uh, robust Rockwilder. He had a full body, full head type, and I was seeking a puppy that would uh, fill his shoes and, and, and not necessarily the same dog but I was looking for one that uh, would fill in for, for what I lost and uh, so I contacted Simona wasn't too sure about getting a puppy off of the Zamba uh, I heard a lot about you know the Zamba but I hadn't really actually seen a pup from the Zamba so I really didn't know the size of this dog and, and and I really didn't know what I was trying to replace. I would probably replace with a better dog. And uh, and and I th really think I did. Uh, Waldo is a, he's a big, robust male. Uh, he could be calm at times. And, 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 and sometimes, it, I mean, you can't shed him off. So he's everything you probably would want in a, in a Rottweiler. He's, He's a complete rock wild. He's he's what you want him to be. How did you choose Waldo out of the other males in the litter? Because the W litter was a special litter. So talk to me a little bit about that. Well, I kind of told Simona what I wanted. And by the time I got ready to choose, uh, Simona had narrowed it down to two picks. It was either Aqua Force Waldo or Aqua Force Willie. Uh, and it just so happened, uh, she kind of favored Willie, I believe, and Colin, um, he favored Waldo. So um, by this time, I knew Simona had a good eye for uh, picking pups, but I chose to go with Colin and I chose Waldo. But ironically, I wound up import importing them both. Um, I had a friend that had bought a dog, uh, Sadie Ridge, she bought a dog, a female from me some years back. And around the time I was getting Waldo, she contacted me about uh, getting another replacement puppy. She had lost uh, a Dezumba puppy, I believe. And um, I told her about Waldo and told about Simone and them. And she asked me, could I assist, assist her in uh, importing a male? So even though I chose Waldo, I got to see him and Willie uh, together. And they they are very similar in type, very similar in type. Uh, so uh, either way, if I had went with Waldo or Willie, I think I would have been just as happy, but I decided to go with Waldo. When I got Waldo, he was a big pup. 
and you know I like the bone on them I like the coloring but um, after two or three days of having Waldo um, I contacted Simona and um, I asked her I said uh, did this puppy get injured on his way over here to the States and the reason I asked him because this dog had huge bones, but he had a huge bump on the top of his head. And I found out later on that that was a trademark, that was a signature mark in most of the Zama puppets as well as the puppets that he produced. So now when I breed him, I can pretty much predict the outcome of the puppet just by the bump on the head. Most of his puppets, uh, they are born with a giant skull and with a bump right on the top of the head. And that usually tells me which one's gonna uh, take his appearance or which one's gonna take the mother appearance. But most of all of his puppets uh, that he have had, uh, they have big bones, uh, large heads, just large puppets and, and great temperaments and with an excessive amount of drive. I mean, these. This dog right here, I hadn't seen him tied since I got him. I mean, I don't know if I can get him tied, you know. Whatever I ask him to do, he's going to do it. And uh, that's one of the reasons I'm, I'm glad that I chose uh, Waldo. And I'm glad that I decided to go back to Simona and Collins and get my mail. Well, I bred with several different uh, breeders, and um, I had, haven't had one that, that's been disappointed with the puppets that he produced. Um, he's producing, his size are better. Uh, he's producing bone and he's producing color. Uh, his females are good producers as well. He have females that are old enough to produce themselves and their puppets have the similar in type. They're, they're large bones, uh, broad heads, and with an extreme amount of drive. And the, the temperaments are calm. And uh, I think he's produced himself well. Uh, I don't think I produced the best puppy that I can off of him, but I think I'm on my way to doing that here in the near future. That's good. You did a magnificent job on the Osborne Force documentary, Mary Rowe Rottweiler. What was that overall experience like for you filming it and what was it like for you watching it back because we shot that what in September I think right. so it's been a little while I know a lot of people was waiting for it so what was it like for you your first time watching it what was it what was the emotions and the feelings going through your mind when you saw it well I thought it portrayed exactly what I wanted to put out I wanted people to get a feel for Simona and Collins I wanted them to understand that people can be trusted overseas to do exactly what they say. And I wanted them to see that um, if you work hard and you're honest, it pays off. And I think all of the success that Collins and Simona uh, are having is not so much because of um, me, although I played a part, but when you have people of that caliber and that people with that personality, it's bound to happen. Good things are bound to happen for them one way or the other, whether it's through me or through the next man. Uh, these people were destined for greatness and uh, I continue, I hope that they have continued success. I think the documentary was great. Uh, it was well laid out. It was well thought out and well planned. And uh, I think that uh, once you watch the documentary, you will understand a little bit more about Simona and Collins, and you will and you will feel a little bit more easy about importing one to the U.S. for yourself. Uh, a lot of people are leery of importing dogs from overseas, as I was when I first decided to import. But once you have uh, people that you can trust. It's just as easy as buying a dog here in the States. Um, so I think the documentary uh, was well and it went great. You can contact me um, 
through Von Brantley Rockwilder, so you can just Google Rockwilders Alabama and you, Von Brantley Rockwilders will pop up. Um, my plan for Waldo in the future, um, I planned on uh, opening them up a little bit more. Um, a lot of people had asked to stub a Waldo, but I was reluctant uh, before, but I think I'm going to open up and offer him as a stud this coming year to a few more people um, to draw um, some more interesting dogs into my program as well and to help other kennels out. Um, if you're looking for a male that will add stock, bone, size, uh, temperament to your kennel, I think Waldo would be a, a great uh, selection. His pedigree is excellent. His temperament is excellent. Um, so if you're interested, just uh, contact me through my webpage, bonbrantleyrottweilers.com, uh, and uh, send, me a contact, send me your contact information, and, and uh, I'll see if I can make Waldo available for stuff.